Alright, so you're back with another episode, and I don't really have much else to say about the episode, other than it was really entertaining and absolutely hilarious. Like, humor is subjective, not everyone is going to find this, the same thing entertaining or the same thing funny, but I thought there were a lot of moments in this episode that I thought were absolutely hilarious. Like, the episode starts back off where we left off on the last episode, and Uzui is basically just explaining that they're going to be going to the entertainment district. And before they leave, he starts explaining how he's a god, and that the, the trio of Inosuke, Tanjiro, and Zenitsu have to follow his orders and do exactly what he says. Zenitsu is just, is just looking at him, and he just thinks he's a really fucking weirdo. Tanjiro, for some reason, takes what he said completely serious, and he's like, oh, what domain as a god do you rule over? And then Uzui explains, <laughs> like, oh, you're a sharp kid. Well, I'm the god of flamboyance, or I rule over fl flamboyancy, and he's the god of festivals. And then Inosuke also takes it very seriously, and he's like, oh, I'm the king of the mountains. Nice to meet you, god of festivals, or whatever he says. <laughs> and then Uzui replies saying, what does that even mean? You're such a weirdo. <laughs> and then Zenitsu is just mad confused as to what the hell is even going on and how Uzui can see Inosuke as a weirdo, yet Uzui's acting kind of like a weirdo himself. And I think so far that's kind of the aspect about Uzui that I really like, is that he's completely all about flamboyancy, and, that he, and he is super extremely flamboyant. But he plays into it so well that he doesn't even really notice that others can, could possibly see him as a weird person as well. And I thought that was really funny. They go to the Entertainment District arc. Or not arc, sorry. They go to the Entertainment District. Uh, they're looking around. Tanjiro is just trying to follow along, follow orders from the Hashira. Inosuke is like looking around. He's like mad confused about why there are so many people and he starts assaulting people for no reason at all and then zainitsu is just admiring the pretty women because we gotta have a character in a, sh in a shonen anime who really really likes pretty women and <laughs> of course shenanigans ensue because of that and i thought there were some pretty entertaining moments because of that we continue on, and then Uzui decides that he's going to go ahead and disguise the three of them as girls. And sell, sell them to certain houses to, to go and look for his three wives, who are also very attractive. And, uh, there, of course, there are a couple of like, entertaining moments where it's like, Uzui's explaining, them, like, explaining to them that they have to go find them specifically in like these specific places. And... Zenitsu the whole time is just like, how the fuck does this weird ass dude like have three wives and then he takes off like his gear and then he looks like the most handsome dude in the world? Uh, which I was already kind of spoiled about that fact because we have a whole bunch of girls thirsting over him on Twitter, so I was bound to eventually find that, anyways. So, yeah, it, it's effective, I guess. Um, and that's pretty much it. The rest of the episode just basically consists of Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke trying to blend in as best as possible whilst looking for Uzui's three wives, who at the end of the episode, we actually see one of them is captured by a demon. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it here. I think I think the purpose of this is, is meant to be obvious. I don't think they're trying to hide anything. But I think it's already pretty obvious who the demon in the Entertainment District actually is. And, uh... Yeah, she's like one of like the more important people and one of the more important women in the area i forget what they call i forget what they call like this like the oiran the oiran i think that's what they called her uh like she's like she's super like uh like she's high like high she's like a high official you know and people look to her for guidance and for other reasons so i think it's meant to be obvious that she's the demon she's the the upper rank in the kizuki who's like ruling over the area and yeah that's pretty much the episode like i said not a lot happens the pacing is a little slow but i think it's i think it's fine because i think it has enough moments that made the episode entertaining for what it, for what it's worth so that's pretty much all i really have to say i thought it was really entertaining and uh i, I don't know it's been a while since i've you know seen any you know humor and comedy from demon slayer so i didn't, didn't really remember what 
you know the gags were or what the style of humor was but now I am remembering what it actually is and yeah it was funny it was entertaining and of course next week we're going to be getting a new episode and I don't know what exactly is going to happen but hopefully some something happens something that is pretty integral to the story so anyways that's pretty much it I don't really have much else to say. I thought the episode was really good. Go check it out. Some of you probably already have because Uzui looks fucking handsome as shit and Zenichu's pissed about it <laughs> and he really wants to get back at him, which is funny. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next one. Have a fantastic day. I'm out. Peace. Let the